All right, this is take two of uh, M42, the Orion Nebula, and the Sword of Orion. We're seeing it through a Sony A7S camera. Settings are quarter of a second shutter, and the ISO is 128,000. Looking at it through a Astrophysics 155 millimeter aperture telescope running at f7. Magnification would be 22, to about 33 power the camera's an APS-C crop and the focal length of the telescope's just about 1100 millimeters. So that's about 22 power times 1.5 is like 33 power. And that's the Orion Nebula at 4 frames a second. Dead center in the nebula, the white bright region, would have a uh, four-star combination called a trapezium. That's not visible here because <laughs> we're trying to uh, increase the exposure to pick up the outer nebula arms so those stars are washed in the uh, white light blob in the center. And you can see some dark nebula just to the left of that. That's real. And then there's a little isolated nebula to the left of the primary with a star kind of in the center of it. But this is more or less real-time video. It shows you what you can get with a Sony Alpha 7S camera running at pretty high ISO, 128,000. It's noisy. But you get it, this is unmodified camera, it's just using the uh, stock infrared filter, so it's not grabbing as much red as it could. It's a little more aggressive than what your typical astronomer would like to get, but uh, that's Orion. In real time, that's probably the easiest thing I can get with this thing. If you were to look at this with your naked eye through the same telescope, you would not see the color. You'd just see gray, greenish. So the camera is definitely more sensitive than the eye in this case. Even with its stock configuration, without any fancy filters or filter removal. Okay, so I'm trying to center it. M42 in Orion um, from Mount Pinos, California. On a chilly December evening. That's a wrap.